वेलकम बैक क्लास थ्री टुडे इन सेशन टू वी विल लर्न सम टेक्स्टुअल एक्सरसाइजेस दैट आर गिवन इन योर टेक्स्ट बुक आई बिलीव दैट यू ऑल हैव डन योर होमवर्क सो लेट्स डिस्कस इट फर्स्ट स्टूडेंट्स द नेम्स ऑफ द फ्लावर्स इन द पिक्चर वर मैरी गोल्ड लोटस hibiscus jasmine sunflower and magnolia or we generally call it champa now just take a look how to write answers in other two columns by reading each line now let us discuss some question answers question 1 Why did the flowers love the little children? Answer is the flowers loved the little children because they took care of them. They watered their thirsty roots and dug the ground nicely. Now students you have to remember one thing while answering the question. If there is did in the question then in the answer you have to write the past tense of the action word given in the question so the action word given in the question is love so in the answer i have written past tense of love that is loved let's move to question 2 What did the birds say about the little children? Answer is the birds said that they loved the little children because they were very kind and they fed them daily. That means they gave them food every day. Question 3 name five flowers growing in the magic garden answer is pansies sunflowers marigolds poppies and roses were the five flowers growing in the magic garden question 4 what sounds could the children hear in the garden answer is The children could hear the sounds of sweet songs sung by fairies in the magic garden. Now, next exercise, find out words or group of words which describe a beauty of the magic garden. Now here you have to find out words from the lesson that describes how beautiful the magic garden was so the answer is pretty talking flowers fairies singing and dancing in the garden b actions performed by flowers now children do you remember what flowers were doing in the garden yes they were dancing singing and talking to birds c actions performed by children the answer is laughing singing watering the plants and digging the ground Now here is an activity for you. There are some things that you have never seen in your life. How would you feel if you happen to see such things in your garden? If I see flowers dancing and singing in my garden, how would I feel? I would also like to dance with them. If I see flowers talking to birds, how would i feel 
I would try to listen to their talks. If I see flowers dressing up in pretty clothes, I would also wear pretty clothes like them. If I see flowers begin to sing, I would also like to sing with them. If I see marigold wearing a golden dress, how would I feel? I would feel like wearing the same golden colored dress. Students, your answers can be different from mine. So, try to make your own answers in your own words. Now children, there is one interesting activity given in your textbook. You have to make a greeting card for your loved ones using dry flowers and leaves. I have shown here two examples to give you an idea. You can make your own card like this. Now here is a description of Yamthang Valley. Now I am going to read this for you. Listen carefully. Yamthang is a beautiful valley in North Sikkim. It is 3500 meters above the sea level. It is home to many beautiful Himalayan flowers. It is also called the Valley of Flowers. Yamthang Valley has beautiful green slopes covered with trees. The river flows right through the valley. A visit to Yamthang Valley makes the visitors happy. Now, after reading this, we can all imagine how beautiful this valley would be, isn't it? Let's see some pictures of this valley of flowers. Now, let's move further. Imagine you have a garden. Write a paragraph on it. Let's read. This is my garden. It is in front of my house. There are many beautiful flowers like rose, hibiscus, periwinkle and jasmine. I water the plants daily. My favorite flower is jasmine. Every day the sun shines brightly on the plants. I see colorful butterflies hovering above the flowers. I love my garden very much. Students, this is an example to make you understand how to write a paragraph. You can add more points of your choice too. Now it's homework time. This activity is given in your textbook. Try to find out the words given here hidden in this grid. This homework activity will help you to improve your concentration. So, find out the words like bud, pod, leaf, stem, roots, thorns, branches and flowers as fast as you can from this grid. Let's talk. Now here, some questions are given where my answers may differ from yours. But Try to learn how to frame an answer. 1. Do you have a garden at home? Answer. Yes, I have a beautiful garden in front of my house. 2. Name some flowers 
that grow in your garden or near your house answer rose jasmine and hibiscus grow in my garden 3 give another word for thirsty feet answer is thirsty feet means roots of the plants do you know children what are roots you can see here in this picture roots are the parts of a plant that mostly lie below the surface of the soil have you seen a drinking straw yes roots work same like these drinking straws they suck the water and minerals from the soil like a straw and help the plant to grow roots also help in keeping the plant steady so it does not fall over so now you know how important roots are right that's all for the day children keep learning and don't forget to water your plants daily thank you